Welcome to the Joint Henley and Harpson Neighbourhood Plan Review. When adopted, this will take place of the current Neighbourhood Plan, which was adopted by SODC in 2016. My name is Ken Arlett. I am a Henley Town and District Councillor, and I am the Chairman of the Joint Henley and Harpson Neighbourhood Plan Review. The committee is made up of Henley Town Councillors, Harpston Parish Councillors, members of the public, and was set up over two years ago to carry out the review. The review is necessary due to the requirements of the new South Oxford District Council local plan, which goes from 2012 to 2035. If Henley and Harpston do not review the neighbourhood plan, this gives South Oxford District Council the opportunity to say where they think should, development should go in both parishes. The majority of residents may well think that the Joint Henley and Harpson Neighbourhood Plan Review is all about housing. That is not the case, as we will also be looking at other needs. For example, we've also explored key areas of the environment, transport, employment, retail, and also the town centre, as well as carrying out a review of the conservation area. Quite a task, as you can imagine. The review provides the opportunity to improve upon the existing joint Henley and Harpson neighbourhood plan, to bring it in line with Henley Town Council and the District Council's declaration of emergency. We have been working on evidence gathering and bringing together draft policies to be included in the new plan. We look forward to seeing residents at the exhibition on the 2nd and 3rd of July, which will be held in Henley Town Hall, where we'll give you the opportunity to consider the policies proposed by the committee and also potential site options that landowners and developers have put forward. Members of the Joint Henley and Harpson Neighbourhood Plan Committee plus officers of Henley Town Council will be on hand to answer any questions that you may wish to put forward. Thank you. Henley is now built out to its boundaries. As this happened, small pockets of land disappeared, in part due to central government legislation. The new adopted South Australia local plan have requested that the Joint Henley and Harpsford Neighbourhood Plan Review come forward with one hectare of industrial land. When sites are put forward by landowners and developers for consideration, the Joint Henley and Harpsford Review Committee will be looking for mixed use wherever possible. We will be encouraging developments with employment or retail and housing. Information gathered shows there is a need for smaller units that would provide for startups. They could be for high tech companies, shared office space, physiotherapy, or similar. The Joint Henley and Harpson Neighbour Plan Review will continue to look for land for industrial use. The Joint Henley and Harpson Neighbour Plan Review Committee will encourage landowners wherever possible to put forward land for employment use and this will be supported providing it works within the Joint Henley and Harpsford Neighbour Plan policies. 87% of respondents to the Neighbourhood Plan Survey in January said that the plan should do more to enhance and conserve nature in Henley and Harpsden. There was general support from residents for the plan to consider climate change and the environment. The draft neighbourhood plan contains a number of environmental policies that cover development and the natural environment. Plan policies will encourage developers and builders to meet or exceed the goal of carbon neutrality in a couple of ways. A fabric first approach that reduces the amount of carbon that goes into the construction of the building, it increases insulation and increases air tightness. This provides homes that are both comfortable and very economical to run. And the use of technologies such as heat pumps, ventilation heat recovery and solar panels that save energy and reduce carbon emissions. These policies will help the town and district councils to meet their commitments to reduce CO2 as part of the declaration of climate emergency. 
Plan policies will also encourage the maintenance and enhancement of the natural environment, its intrinsic, ecological and social value. Protecting and enhancing hedges and woodland and by protecting, promoting and enhancing public rights of way and access to the surrounding countryside. Development will be encouraged where it incorporates sustainable planting and biodiversity features and where it enhances new wildlife corridors. The policies will seek to reduce local air pollution in line with the requirements set out in the SODC local plan. Hi, I'm Lawrence Plant and I'm a Henley Town Councillor. I'm here today to talk to you about the Joint Henley Harpston Neighbourhood Plan, specifically in regards to retail and the town centre. Retail and the town centre, it's really important that we protect and enhance these aspects, both for residents, visitors and tourists alike. It's important that in regards to retail and these other areas of the town centre, we have a broad offering to cover a wide age range that represents those that live within Henley on Thames, something so that we can pick up our everyday essentials or the less likely items that we pick up once in a while because we like them. It's really important for visitors and tourists so that we have something to attract visitors to Henley Town Centre so that we can have a thriving economy for years to come. We need the Joint Henley Harps and Neighbourhood Plan so that we can protect and enhance these spaces. In these spaces are also included our cafes, restaurants and bars. All of these things, and when we look at them together, also provide really important employment opportunities for those that live both in the immediate local area and the surrounding villages. So the Joint Henley Harps and Neighbourhood Plan is your chance to have a say in how we can protect and enhance these for years to come. It's now more important than ever to have your say. So come along and take part, help us to protect and enhance Henley Town Centre. Hello, I'm Jackie Walker, a member of the Joint Henley and Harpston Neighbourhood Plan Committee, the Transport Strategy Group and the Climate Emergency Working Group. Along with the making of the Neighbourhood Plan, Peter Brett, who is now called Stantec, um, conducted a transport study and consequently the Transport Strategy Group was formed to work on and implement the transport objectives from the Neighbourhood Plan and the recommendations out of the transport study. The review of the neighbourhood plan includes a number of new transport policies. We recognise that encouraging greater levels of active travel will become increasingly important. A shift away from private vehicles to active public and shared forms of transport. So active travel will play an important role in improving air quality and reducing congestion in Henley which were concerns raised by residents in the Neighbourhood Plan Survey. The plan will promote opportunities to increase walking, cycling and use of public transport. The active travel policy supports measures to join up footpaths and cycle paths into a comprehensive network. The Neighbourhood Plan will support the introduction of signposts with walking times to encourage those travelling by car to park and walk from the Rugby Club and Mill Lane that are at either side of the town. There have also been additional bike racks installed in Henley. The plan policies will aim to manage patterns of growth, seek to address the impacts of development on transport networks and ensure that movement and transport are integral to the development schemes. The plan policies will seek to protect and support the public transport network and encourage improvements to the service. There is also preparation for installation of electric vehicle charging points in car parks and roadside etc through the Transport Strategy Group. CoWheels has recently been launched in Henley. These policies will help both the Town and District Council to meet their commitments to reduce CO2 emissions as part of their climate emergency declaration. Hello, my name is Councillor Michelle Thomas. I'm Chair of Planning for Henley Town Council. The Neighbourhood Plan will seek to ensure that we build the right kind of homes in the right kind of places throughout the Neighbourhood Plan area. We seek a positive approach to development in line with sustainable development with good access to the town centre. 
The South Oxfordshire local plan require Henley and Harpston to build an additional 115 homes up to 2035. The figure will probably be closer to somewhere between 50 and 115 because some of the houses will have already been provided. The exhibition will be a chance for the public to have their say on where this development should go. The comments received by you will be considered alongside additional criteria such as air quality. These will determine the most suitable sites for development. We aim to ensure that the two settlements of Henley and Harpston are kept separated as two distinct settlements. The new plan will support proposals of the community right to build. The housing need assessments made in 2020 show that Henley has a high need for affordable housing. Neighbourhood plan policies will require affordable housing to have 40% affordable housing on 10 units or more. The housing policy will also deliver first homes, which is a new policy from the UK government. Take your time during this exhibition, have a good look around, ask questions, we look forward to hearing your comments. Thank you.